All right, everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to walk you through how to create a Facebook group and uh, exactly what a Facebook group is and how it can really be beneficial to you. So to start off, uh, a Facebook group can basically be created by anybody on Facebook interested in promoting and, you know, and organizing people around specific interests or a specific cause. And uh, all members of the group have the ability to contribute content that appears on the group's wall. Uh, you can contribute photos, videos, and there's also discussion threads that you can communicate on. Um, a couple key key factors of these Facebook groups are that they can promote active participation, and because members of the group can actively contribute content, like as I just said, and participate in informal and you know, but meaningful com conversations around that specific top uh, topic. And as they uh, communicate together and actively participate, uh, they're going to keep coming back. They're more likely to come back and see what other people have said in response to whatever topic they have commented on. Now, one key thing about Facebook groups that you're going to want to remember through this is I, I look at Facebook groups as promoting something really quick, promoting a specific topic that you want to get out there fast and draw attention to. Uh, I, I've talked about Facebook pages in other videos. If you haven't seen that yet, those should be posted up here on my blog very soon. But if you haven't, uh, if you don't know about Facebook fan pages, Facebook groups are a little different, and uh, Facebook fan pages are more for your business. They're to promote a long-term promotion to keep people interested over time, whereas Facebook groups are for a shorter period of time that where you want to draw attention very quickly. So let's get started here on exactly how to create a Facebook group. Now the first thing I recommend before diving into Facebook here is creating a Word document. And on this Word document you're going to want to come up with a group name and a group description. Now coming up with these early on is very effective. It saves a lot of time later on, you know, sitting there and maybe even losing the losing it. So what you're going to want to do is create this Word document or whatever program you have, come up with a group name and a group description. All right, so getting started here. This is your obviously you're going to start logged in, and you uh, you're going to start at your home page. And the quickest way, Facebook has recently changed the way that they've done a lot of things. So the quickest way to get things uh, to get over to the groups area is go up here to the search bar and type in groups. That's going to come up with a drop down right here. You just click on that. And this is going to show you uh, any recently updated groups or groups recently joined by friends. But all you're going to focus on is right up here where it says create a new group. And it, it is that easy to get started. So what you're going to do here is you have your group name and description, as I said earlier. So it's as easy as coming back here, copying your group name, and copying your group description. You can just scroll up and down, make sure your entire description is here. And then you're going to select your group type. Uh, you can either be a business, common interest, entertainment, arts, so on, so on, so on. For me, I'm going to make this common interest. This is a, my prosperity alliance. It's basically for business people and entrepreneurs to get together, like-minded people, and gain knowledge on how to gain prosperity in certain areas. So I'm going to keep it as common interest. And uh, you can, you know, again, all these different, uh, all these different, types of um, of group types here, uh, sub subgroups, I would say, of the common interest. I'm going to do self-help. You can also add any recent news. That can be updated later. No worries about that. I'm going to go ahead and put my email in here as well. Always recommend getting an email in there. And you can put your address, anything like that. If you're doing a very local group, I would highly recommend uh, getting the street, city areas, getting those attached, and putting those up there, because that'll draw closer attention to your specific region. So then you're just going to hit Create Group. And your group is created. You're going to see that. And you can go down here, any settings you want to change. Uh, not admins can write on the wall. That'll allow people to write on the wall that aren't admins. That's basically anybody that comes onto the group can now write on your wall. Show group events, enable discussion board, enable photos. This all allows people to also uh, actively contribute into your group. And down here, you can uh, select whether you want the group to be open, closed, or a secret. Keep it nice and private. So I'm happy with all these. So I'm just going to come up here and hit save and continue. 
And then this is going to pop up right here, and this is basically just going to let everybody on your friends list know, hey, I created this group, and that will this will actually send a uh, an, out on your news feed so that they can now join on to your group. So all you have to do is click Publish. All right, and the next step it's going to say is invite people to your group. So here you can go through your friends and you know click on their names and select them, and you can go through all your friends and select uh, as many as you'd like to join on. And if you want to be more specific, you can type it in. One really cool key thing I know about is if you want to filter your friends, you can actually do it by region. So if this is a very uh, specific group, say you're making a group for an event in your area. So for me, it's Atlanta, Georgia. I can click Atlanta, Georgia, and narrow all these down. And from here, I can actually click Select All. Uh, not many people know about the Select All, and it is very, very cool. So uh, once you select all your friends, you just hit send invitations and that'll send the invitations out to everybody that you want to uh, get them out to so here it's going to show me all the people that I've invited on and uh, at the end of it I can also still keep inviting people if I'd want to go back to your group and then you can start setting it up you can start making it more appealing uh, add a picture of course you're going to want to add whatever the logo is for the business you can also, one cool thing is message all the members. So once people start joining on, you can send a message to them and get that out there as soon as possible. So you can send a message, start promoting yourself, say, hey, thanks for joining the group. So here you'll see your description, see the admins, and that is pretty much it. You can also write a little description about yourself, uh, start discussions, and people are going to, as you invite more people and you tell them about this and you start to contribute, they'll contribute in return get on the discussion board, they'll start putting photos, videos, and uh, you can also see a list of your events. And you're basically going to treat this exactly like your Facebook page when you post things on your wall. You can do the same here. So you can, you know, write, thanks for joining the group. And just like yours, you hit share. That's now going to appear on the wall for this group page. So now everybody who goes to this group, uh, group can actually see this. So that's pretty much it. That's really how you get a group set up and how you can start optimizing it. And uh, like I said, I've got a ton of more videos coming up very soon. So stay tuned for those videos. I hope you guys found this helpful. Please comment on the video. Let me know what you thought. And uh, I'll be talking to you guys really soon. Thanks a lot.